Hey YouTube, it is the Sleeve Singer coming to you with my week one post-op update. Um, I apologize that I'm just getting this video out here. Um, I actually recorded this morning, but apparently my video was too long and uh, YouTube rejected it. And uh, I didn't know because I got off of YouTube for a little bit and I got back on here looking for comments from you guys and didn't see any and found out that it was rejected. So I apologize um, if you have been waiting to hear from me. I know a couple of people. Um, Especially if you are pre-op, or and uh, and since I'm at, you know, the beginning, are really looking. So um, I just wasted 45 seconds explaining that. So let me make this quick, and and I got my notes down here. So forgive me for looking down. Um, my numbers. I started this journey. Highest weight recorded was 293 pounds. Um, uh, day of surgery, my weight was 277.6, and I am currently at. 266.4 which is a weight loss of 11.4 pounds in one week and um, I am elated um, never could have done this on my own I'm sure um, I got a little bit of skepticism about it because I just feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that I am on a liquid diet right now I didn't have to do the liquid diet before um, surgery and um, of course I'm gonna lose weight um, I know some people though on a liquid diet was not as successful and um, my reason for skepticism is um, I had a few days in there where I just couldn't do the protein shake um, thing I tried so many concoctions with the mix that I have bought from vitamin shop that um, I was getting frustrated because it just didn't taste right and um, I, I wasn't looking for you know the taste that I usually have with food I was just looking for something that was doable and I, I just wasn't achieving that all I could taste was um, pr the protein mix um, and um, I supposedly bought unflavored stuff so I'm surprised um, but anyway um, I have since uh, uh, gotten a remedy for it and um, in the past two days well one day I really have been able to keep protein down um, which is a good segue to what I'm doing now um, I remember Jay McBride talking about Isopure let's see if I can get it on here yeah Isopure uh, this is the Alpine Punch some people are really grossed out by this and I can see why it's got a little ting, tingy taste at the end um, 40 grams of protein in that so I'm using that um, to get my protein in because um, on Monday when I went to get my drain taken out which I'll tell you guys about in a minute um, my doctor was like I don't care how you get the protein in I just need you to get he said 75 grams of protein but um, my nutrition is a 60 to 80 so I, 60 is pretty much my benchmark and then anything after that is just a bonus for me so um, and I had a couple of days like I said where I didn't get it in and just was staying uh, hydrated with my uh, water and all so um, that's why I'm skeptical but I'm thankful of the 11.2 pounds um, anyway so the Isopure does have a little tingy taste to it like right when it's leaving your palate so I bought um, some Hawaiian punch these little uh, singles to go um, this is the berry lime blast these are sugar free also um, a half a packet is supposed to be for a uh, regular you know bottle of water um, this isopure is 20 ounces so I kinda just pour you know one packet in there and shake it up real good it's got a lot of bubbles in it so if you're post-op you know you can't handle that gas in your stomach so um, when you shake it so let it sit for a second before you take your sip and um, it goes down pretty good and I'm getting my protein in that way um, I'm also getting my protein in with Undry um, I, I'm lucky that the hospital where I got my surgery actually carries this in its neighbor care pharmacy uh, store so I have the um, chicken soup flavor one this is the chicken soup one um, that I kinda use for lunch or dinner um, just to get 21 grams of protein in um, and uh, it's been going pretty good um, I recommend this big time it definitely tastes like chicken broth um, no no signs at all for me of any kind of protein mix at all so I'm real happy about that because I was just really getting frustrated and feeling like I was failing already um, but uh, the nurse when I went to get my um, uh, 
drain taken out was seeing my frustration and uh, recommended get that injury stuff and I did and I'm happy I did so um, I was kind of protesting it I felt like it was you know just I could just get protein in a vitamin shot why do I have to buy that but they got the taste right so maybe you know being that this product is for bariatric patients maybe this is the way to go so um, they have other flavors they have you know chocolate vanilla I think strawberry as well and like a double chocolate or something like that um, that I may try as well even after my liquid stage just so I can at least get or start my day with 21 grams of protein by making like a chocolate shake or something like that um, so I'll see how that goes and let you guys know um, so I went and got my drain out on Monday as I stated um, the way it works is my surgeon sent me home with it he said five days after surgery you can um, get your drain out this lady called on day number five and was like please let me know what time my appointment is because I actually didn't even shower for like three or four days um, because it's just so in the way and I saw some people when they showed their scars and so forth that the to the tubing was taped to them really good and the drain and all well mine was just hanging there you know and I couldn't deal with it any longer um, it started to pull a little bit to me um, so I had to get that thing out um, I'm not even gonna lie it hurt um, it was a stinging sensation from the moment he took that bandage off to the moment he started pulling it um, it was four or five seconds of pain though and it was out um, I, I would just you know had to get my mental together and I was growling while he was pulling it and he was like you're gonna pass out and I'm like you know hurry up get it out and it was so bad when I opened the door after I got myself together people in the hallway were like are you okay <laughs> it was embarrassing but um, hey I never claimed to be you know all strong and everything um, so uh, that that came out and, and that's when she uh, told me about the chicken soup and everything but don't let that drain stop you from getting the surgery if you're thinking about it that was my journey with the with the with the uh, drain you know you may not have that issue some people just feel you know the suction part of it me I just felt the stinging so that's how it went down um, so what else um, right now like I said I'm, I'm looking at my notes right now I'm, I'm at the um, you know liquid stage um, the nurse at the um, at the uh, office also told me that this liquid stage is really not about my sleeve not being able to handle you know like at least pureed food it's actually a mental game where you are kind of really really breaking up with food um, because it's letting you know it's getting your mindset that you know even though it's sitting over there you can't have it all the time and um, it, it's just really making sure I get all the protein in and it's coming from a good source of protein without a lot of fat and so forth so another reason why I got my head together about this protein thing is because now that I know it's a mental game I put my game face on and this thing is not going to beat me so I just had to find other options so just know that you know if you're a pre-op um, patient that you should try some things now whatever you know I heard some people talk about they could get some stuff for free if you can great um, uh, because you should try things now even though they say your taste much change after surgery I don't think mine's did I already had a low tolerance for sweet things because I had kind of taken um, sugar out of my uh, diet um, prior to surgery just you know to get used to just doing sugar-free things which I'm using um, sugar-free pops for and so forth so I already have a low tolerance for sugar stuff um, but if you can try stuff prior to surgery um, you, you should and that way you'll be set and straight and know what you'll kinda like after surgery um, as opposed to me waiting you know wasting a couple days figuring I try this recipe with this protein shake that I bought from vitamin shop this which just wasn't tasty and all so um, that way you'll be straight a um, couple other things and then I'll let you guys go um, I started a Facebook page like I mentioned in my last video but I did say it wrong it is sleeved singer not the sleeved singer um, but just sleeved space singer um, you know friend me out there um, sub me here uh, whatever you want to do I have found a few of you out there on Facebook 
um, that I'm already friends with out here on YouTube. Um, and uh, but I, I need more support, and I want to be more support for others. Um, this is a great community. Um, I, I love it. Um, I have support around me. You know, people are afraid to eat around me right now since I'm in the liquid stage. Um, and it's cute and everything, but the kind of person I am, I don't like to inconvenience people. So I feel like they're walking on eggshells when, when I know that they would usually be crunching on some chips or whatever. And um, I suggest to them, you know, go ahead and eat. And, you know, I say that, you know, it doesn't bother me. Sometimes it does. It just depends on where I am with my mind game at that time. So, um, but, you, you know, the Facebook and um, YouTube are great communities. But one more that you could get um, if you have the option, if you know that the hospital or there's a support group center near you, you should definitely join um, that. I went to mine on um, Monday night at St. Agnes in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, all kinds of people were there. All, all of the weight loss surgery people were there. Um, you know, people who have had all different types of weight loss surgery. Even people who were there who have had it failed and they've had it again. Um, people who haven't had it yet were there. It's just really good, even though you get support at home, it's really good just to be around people who um, are going through your struggle. So um, I highly recommend it. You, you can't do this on your own um, we, we're all in this together and uh, you know I'm a visual person so YouTube is my strongest um, way to stay in the community um, but some people like you know chats and, and so forth so like verticalsleeptalk.com might work for you but reach out to something um, get yourself some kind of support around you that um, pretty much because um, this is how I felt on Monday night when I left there that pretty much empowers you to to do what you're doing so that you're it's kind of like going to church you're ready for the week you know I'm ready for the next time you know it's your energy pull and uh, it's really good and, and definitely stick with that um, if that works for you so um, I think I'm good with everything I wanted to talk to you guys about um, like I said, uh, I've been doing great. I feel great, um, which was another reason why the liquid diet was so hard because, you know, when you're feeling bad, it's easy to skip a meal or so and not want to eat. But when you're feeling good and just got a little soreness in your belly, um, hey, it's hard. Um, your, your mind takes over and everything looks good again. So um, I'm glad, you know, blessed that I'm, I'm feeling it. But this has definitely been my cross to bear so far. So, um Anyway, I'm going to cut it off before YouTube cuts me out again. Um, thanks so much for my new subbies, um, old subbies. What's up out there? Miss Haitian Cutie, Jay McBride, um, Nikki1985 Heart. We're supposed to meet at one of those group sessions. I hope you, you do catch up with me at the next one. Um, and uh, all you other guys, NYC, all of you guys, I, you know, I keep on you every day. Um, uh, Fabulous Phoenix, I did see you got your car back, so congratulations. And I'm sorry you went through that whole drama. Um, I haven't watched your video yet. I just saw your, your title on there in my, um, in my subscriptions that I need to watch. So I'll be checking that out shortly. Anyway, you guys be good. And, uh, you know, stay focused and eyes on the prize. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, week two update. See you later.